Hello and welcome to another episode of Kim Schmidt's Brain. Today we're going to go over Amazon Web Services creating an S3 storage bucket. So now let's create an AWS storage bucket. Go to uh, My Management Console and click on S3 Scalable Storage in the Cloud. As I mentioned before, S3 is a file storage which can contain the file and whatever metadata that comes along with it, but it can also do some pretty awesome things that you wouldn't think. What I've done here is I click on uh, this particular bucket that I've created. It loads the properties on the right-hand side. And if I click on static website hosting, I configured this bucket to be a storage place for a website. And how you can confirm that that is truly hosted within an Amazon S3 storage bucket is by clicking on the endpoint that, that was created when I configured this to be a, this bucket to be a static website hosting storage place. So I'm going to click on it and there's your companion site. So it is hosted within an S3 storage bucket. So let's go ahead and create a new bucket. You give it a bucket name. Let's call this PIAAS3. And then you choose the region that you want it um, to be available at. And I'm going to keep it at US standard and then create. Now, if I double click it, it's empty, but from this interface right here, as quick as double clicking, I can upload things simply by dragging and dropping. So I have this text file here. I'm going to drop into this area and then say start upload. So now it has uh, this text file it was really a small file, fast upload. But it, it, it is in a storage bucket in Amazon Web Services. So let's click on it and ensure that it truly is here. So you can tell by the URL that it is. And it's a text document that just says this is how easy it is to literally drag and drop assets into your Amazon S3 storage instance. And that's it. Thank you for watching this episode of Kim Schmidt's Brain. You can always contact me for consulting at kimschmidt101 at gmail.com. Thank you.